in this chapter we will discuss about the key triggers so i will start by clicking on our application which will open a new tab into our chrome i'm gonna search up the device which i have connected here which is 16 keys into the light section right here i will choose the bottom left example which is right in front of the camera here i will open the static one and i will leave the light mode as it is in this section i will play around with the event so in the start i have a lot of options i have one two three four five six seven so i've got seven options and out of seven only two are in english and then five are in chinese and before when i was having troubles i called my friend who is from china and he helped me debug and translated that so the first one is the none okay so if we confirm that and leave that static and none here and confirm that and save what this is gonna do is it's gonna leave the color of the key as it is doesn't matter how many times you press it nothing will change and then we will go on to the second option which is in chinese so this translates into press on release off which means when you press it turns on and when you release it turns off so i'll select that and confirm right here and when i confirm that to static and confirm and save forever here you will see the light still on what happens it it doesn't resets so in order to reset you just click the key once and it will reset and then it will do the function as we programmed it to do so when we click and press it turns on soon as we release it turns off so we go on to our next option which is this one and this one is the opposite of the first one which is press off release on that's what it translates to which means when you press it it turns off and when you release it it turns on so i will confirm that confirm here and save forever and you will see the lights turned on now and then soon as i'm gonna press that it turns off and then back here turns on and then turn off turn on and then next one we have is the third option which is called press fades out release fades in which basically means when you press it's gonna fade out and when you release the button it's gonna fade in so the light's gonna fade back in so let's select this one and confirm and then confirm again save forever and then i will click that and you will see the light slowly fade out and then once i will go up again it fades back in again and let's go on to the next one the next one is this one which is the opposite of the one before that means press fades in release fades out so when you press the button it's gonna fade in the light and when you release the button it's gonna fade out so if you don't press it for too long it's not gonna be that much light so i will confirm right here confirm and then save forever the changes and then i will click it you will see if I click and then release straight away the effect is really not that good all right let's go on to the next one execute after pressing pretty straightforward I don't have to explain that because it's not in Chinese um, I'm gonna save that to forever and I'm gonna click that and you will see no activity happening so with this one what you can use it with is the other light mode so in the last chapter we learned about the other ones and it works really good with the fade out one so leave that to 8x and everything and event to execute after pressing and confirm and save forever the changes so this time when you click it you will get this really nice fade out effect and the last one is this one which is the opposite of one before it means execution after releasing the key instead of pressing the key so i will click that and confirm and i'm going to save that and then once i save it when i click the button 
you will see it only turns on when I release the key. So, if I have it pressed, nothing happens. Soon as I release it, it fades out. So, I hope you got the value out of this one and I will see you in the next one.